Hello, my friends of Qatari Labs. My name is Saul Montoya. Please have a great day. In the class of, in the tutorial of today, what we are going to do is that we are going to define the channel network, okay? With but instead of doing a normal GIS software, we are going to use Python and LANLAB. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, first you are going to receive in the description of the video the the input files with the zipped version of this folder that you have to place under documents okay and this folder has a sample raster file and as well has an output folder and some scripts so let's start with the tutorial so first we um, open anaconda prom and then cc cd documents cd channel network limitation in case that you don't have in case that you don't have the required libraries in the latest version of anaconda it's really easy to install the geospatial libraries so we can install pip install rasterio we can install geopandas and then we can install a landlab in this way so with that you have all the required files already in your computer okay um, but i i have those already installed so i'm not going to run this code okay and then we type jupyter lab Okay, so here you have the output folder, the raster folder, and the scripts. Let's start the scripts. And for that, well, as an introduction of Lambda, Lambda is a library for the simulation of surface processes, and it has a lot of components. And one of these components is the um, the channel delimitation, but it has a lot of other features as well. So first we import the generic LAN package. So, okay, so I'm going to clear that. So we are going to import NumPy, Matplotlib, Rasterio, Chapely, Geopandas. And as well, we are going to import uh, some, some LAN LAN components as raster model grid, actually. Hex model grid, we are not going to use and the depression and find the flow accumulation to fill sinks and to extract the channel networks okay great okay so then we open the raster file with rasterio in this case this is a nat83 uh, this is a nat83 in the zone utm in the zone 12 north and what it has a particularity is that the x dimension of the raster cell is not the same as the y dimension in the raster cell so we have to be uh, aware of that and it is compatible with LANLAB so first we extract the array so this is the array and these are the array values but we have to trans we have to uh, the, the the cell dimension we have to extract from the transform object Okay, so we have the number of call rows and the cell dimension. And then with those cell dimension, we have to apply for our raster model, raster model, raster grid from LANLAB. So we do that. And then the cell size is 21.51 meters and 30.46 meters. Okay, well, then we create a data set of zeros and then we apply our elevation and then we have our final elevation. This is in LANLAB, I mean as a raster model grid. In case that you have some empty values, we can define and according to the empty value value, okay, you can define that as close so they those won't be computed. Okay, and then we have a flow direction a flow accumulator and as well a fill sink okay depending on the size of the raster that can that can take some time okay so this is just a 488 rows times 877 columns 
but it can be much bigger if you want okay so you can tell me if those if the if if you were successful to run it with much larger files okay so we can plot the drainage area and this is amazing and then here we see a lot of drainage points and that is something amazing about this library because we can work with the drainage point and then we can work with the accumulation area what does it mean so for example here we see a pixel this color where well, it's actually really hard but this color actually means 2 10 to the minus 7 2 10 to the 7 uh, square meters so if we define for example and then i think that is if we define this as the threshold only this channel network from this color to the to the yellow color will be extracted as a channel network okay so and this is where you define the channel threshold okay and then you can play around with that and then you define the number of watersheds because here we see a lot of discharging points so we have one discharging point two discharging point three discharging point four discharging points six discharging points okay but in this case we are only take five and i guess it will take the biggest five this i mean the discharging point with higher accumulation area okay and it has the option just to get the main channel so it will be just the main one but in our case it will be false so it will extract the whole channel network so we define the channel network in land lab then we run the channel network and then we extract the data structure as a dictionary okay mm -hmm. so here well it what it creates is a dictionary with a lot of starting point ending points and all the points but those are points ids okay yeah but then we from the points ids and uh, with some intro of the of the land lab library we convert these points ids to a geopanda data frame okay and why we have to go convert that to a geopanda data frame because in the end what we will what we will need is not like the sequence of nodes but we need a special data and a special we need a special uh, file that actually has the river network okay so we need that i mean we need a chip file or whatever other file okay so for that we create a data frame a geospatial in geopandas so this will be our data frame and from that we save that to water network so it will save that here so this is the water network and then we can plot the water network and the raster files and you see only five watersheds because these ones because we haven't defined six so this is only five we have defined only five with a threshold accumulation of one million square meter okay so that is amazing i mean for me is uh it's amazing the level of us the level of abstraction and how can we work with python with the, our normal GS tools and then we can dream in doing that for a whole region we can dream in sampling that for a country whatever you might be interested we it is possible to do now in now in uh, uh, in python okay with the land lab okay actually that is was also possible with PySheets but it also is also possible with land lab okay so possibilities are a lot okay just to tell you something about who we are we are hatari labs we are a platform in knowledge sharing in groundwater modeling and spatial analysis uh, we have courses here that you can take if you want to improve your uh, your knowledge in this uh, special software okay and uh, uh, we have as well coming events and we have a um, apply program in geochemical modeling with a 25 percent of discount and then we have 
as well webinars and then we have more blogs okay so you can share with your friends our blog and make well if you find this interesting what we do interesting okay have a great day and hope to see you in coming courses webinars and so on. bye bye bye